freezing cold out there <laughs> and uh, so I'm warming up in the van it's um it's 10 minutes for the start I'm at Dog Lane Fishery in Napton in, in Warwickshire um lovely venue it's full of silverfish full of carp as well which uh could be a little bit problematic because it's a silverfish only match today um I'm hoping because we've had a hard frost this morning uh, it's going to be really cold all weekend um I'm hoping that's going to put pay to a few of the carp feeding but um, this place is notorious for king carp the thing is they're from anything from like eight ounces to eight pounds sort of thing so uh and there's a lot of small carp so you could be playing a fish thing hoping it's a nice big roach or perch or a tench or something and unfortunately it's a carp and it's completely um carp free match today no crusions no goldfish no brown goldfish no f1s no nothing it's out and out silverfish so uh so that's what we're after today um i'm gonna target skimmers on maggots and pinks i think i've got casters on standby but I'm trying to save them for tomorrow really I'm just going to try and keep it nice and simple and I've got some uh, got some worms as well I, I fancy fishing um, little bits of worms as well which is always quite good this time of year whilst it's still a little bit mild um, so that's where we are it's a very very simple session today I think um, it's notorious for catching quite close in here so top kit and uh, no more than six seven meters most of the locals tend to fish but i have got a couple of lines at 30 meters plumbed up as well the wind's going to get up it's going to be really fresh today so um um and basically one rig will do everything today so uh um, depth wise anyway so i've got two four before in rigs set up and a half a gram rig um two on um uh, six to eight slick elastic which is nice and soft through a full top two and um, one on a solid number five um, to an 08 bottom and the others are an 09. Um, nice and simple really, so three rigs, it's unusual for me to set up so little, but there's very little else I can set up, even down the edge it's only six inches shallower um, where I can find uh, an, um, a decent place to fish, so 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 I can just slide my float down and use the same rigs for down the edge, so uh, I'll probably just use one rig all day, but I've got a slightly heavier half gram set up as well. Um, with a wire stem in case the wind gets a bit naughty and it's definitely picking up today it was flat calm this morning full moon um, expecting it to be hard I think 20 pound would be really good today I think 20 20 pound was framed last week 18 to 25 pound um, is, is my target I suppose and as I like to say there's some nice skimmers here it's whether you're on the bigger ones or the little ones um, can make a big difference if you're on those nice big chunky pound plus fish then it's easy to do a big weight obviously um, but there's there's pockets of smaller fish and everyone says here you, 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 there's nothing you can seem to be able to do depending on the size of skimmers in front of you so there's some lovely roach and there's also a separate perch prize as well so uh, um, they, um, it tends to be one with a fish about two pound five two six something like that and uh, and last time I was here I think about eight of us all caught a two pound perch so uh, and <laughs> it's as, it's as uh, fiercely contested as the main prize, the perch prize. So uh, that's an extra quid uh, pull for that. So a nice little touch to the match. Uh, so anyway, there's over 20 of us here, I think, and uh, some good anglers. I've got Pete Bennett opposite Ian Shirley, and uh, I've got the organiser Lee Taylor to my right as well. So uh, um, so yeah, we're going to give it a go. Going to get out there and uh, try and warm my hands up before the start and uh, catch a few. All right, what do we do? Throw away an
feed a long line. Bagging rig. Nice gun. Single eye of my get. Quite easy. <laughs> I assume that's a carp. <laughs> oh dear. Go see Uncle Ian. Oh, I've got a tree as well now. Oh, what a lovely start. New balls.
didn't want you anyway. Come on, don't straighten me up. Carp master. Go on, come up, show yourself. No perch. I know one bites the dust. Yeah, that even damaged me up. Look how small that is. Perch. It did fish. <laughs> That's four. Four calf already. Great. You pull a pellet in. Oh, I was getting all excited then. Two pinkies.
<laughs> um, that was unbelievably cold. Um, we've all said it, it's probably the coldest we've all felt all year. It's uh, really caught me out because I've not had my thermal boots on. I've not had my uh, long johns and my vest or even a flask with me today and uh, uh, certainly be packing those tomorrow. I can't believe how cold that was. It's been unpleasant to say the least and uh, I can just about feel my fingers now. So, um, uh, But more importantly, I've managed to win the match. So. Uh, <laughs> It's worth going through the pain threshold for that. So uh, I've had £22. Um, Richard Wills was second with £19. Pete Bennett had £18. And Dave Armstrong had £17. And he also won the perch prize uh, with a £2 fish. Um, and there's quite a few big perch being caught over the far bank. Um, the biggest I had was about... 12 14 ounce maybe so so yeah nice result um, <laughs> um i fed those two lines at six meters left and right i fed one with uh ground bait uh, dead maggots live maggots and the other one with ground bait dead maggots and chop worm uh, the chop worm line was really good for 20 minutes and then that was it it was dead it was rubbish absolutely rubbish all match and then the last 20 25 30 minutes with nothing to lose the swim's just gone away from me I thought, right, I'll put a load more chop worm in. And uh, for some reason, the fish came back and I had a nice little run right at the end. And I suppose that was the difference. Whilst everyone else has really struggled towards the end um, and or hooking carp, I just had a nice little run of skimmers in the last 30 minutes. Um, just with that little injection of worms so uh, that was nice um i've gone i've tried 13 meters one little skimmer a couple of missed bites and that's it i think i was too close to to the carp in the middle of the lake and um, for that swim to work and down the edge i've just had a couple of perch and a few roach and just dripping in maggots it was never really gonna gonna lift off there so i think i've done the right thing left and right at six seven meters um and just alternate between the two and try and uh, keep them going i've had to feed to get back um they didn't want loads of bait, but you had to feed to get them in your peg. And often you you rig a set, you get a dink. So you knew they were there, um, but you often had to wait a little bit for bites. Single maggot, single dead maggot, single live maggot. I've tried double maggot. I've had a couple on that. Uh, a maggot and a pinky um, and uh, bits of worm as well. That, that's all I've fished today. So I didn't bother getting the casters out. So anyway, it's done the damage and I've won the match. So that's all you can ask for really on a horrible, miserable day like this. It's nice to get a lovely bag of skimmers and uh, hopefully there's a few more uh, weights like that to come this winter.